All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Check this out. Whoa! What that the? Have you ever taken a photo where it just doesn't look good or it just looks bland or boring? Because I've got a simple trick that you can actually use to spice up any photo that you have. <laughs> Anyways, um, so if you find yourself in a good location, especially... Fucking hell! If you find yourself in a good location with a good look up spot, especially with a lot of good architecture around, there's a simple trick you can do to actually spice it up and put a subject in your photo. What do you think of the spot? Mate, it's fucking hectic. It's an arch architectural dream. <laughs> look at this spot though. Holy moly. Because it has so much symmetry and so many lines going up, a wide angle lens would be really good to draw the viewer's eye in. Sheesh! Anyways, Willis is using the 14 24. I'm going to be using the 15 to 35. And hopefully, we can get a really nice shot with the extreme wide angle so you can direct the viewer's eye basically straight forward up into the sky. So, I'm going to show you how you can try get some shots like this. And as you can see, there's a little plane that's actually in each shot. However, it's all fake. It's photoshopped. None of it's real. Nothing's nothing's real. It's all a lie. You can use the symmetry of the architecture to actually draw the viewer's eye to the plane. It makes it a lot better. Except I think we're gonna try have two subjects, have a person standing on the ground looking up at the plane, so the viewer's eye can actually direct the two points in the photo to make it a bit more dynamic. <laughs> So, this is the final photo, and I will show you how you can actually get to this, and it doesn't take that long. All you need is Photoshop and Lightroom. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, and the photo, obviously. And I'll also show a bunch of other photos that I did this session. So, here we have Lightroom. This is the final image that I came up with. Um, I'm pretty proud of it, not gonna lie. All you need to do when you're out, you need to take three or more photos, I'd recommend three minimum. Yeah, so for this one, I actually only took three. With a 15 millimeter, I didn't really need to take any more because I could fit the whole structure of that car park in three photos. So here are the three photos here. There's the first one, second one, a third one. So as you can see, I literally just I stood in the same spot and panned up in a straight line. So now it's really easy for Lightroom to actually just stitch those photos together. And how you do that is select all three of your photos that you took. You're gonna right click it, go to photo merge, and then go to panorama. It will come up with a little preview. And there's three options, there's spherical, cylindrical, and perspective, but you can actually choose cylindrical or spherical. So warp it a bit, so it's actually gonna fill those edges. So basically move this until you're happy with it. And then you can also click this, fill edges and it's going to automatically detect data throughout the photo and try fill in the empty spaces and it's actually pretty good it did a pretty good job so i think i'm going to leave it like that and then i'm going to hit merge so here we have it obviously the first thing we want to do is actually change the crop so i'm going to try keep that horizon steady and by horizon i mean just the floor but for instagram reels it has to be 1920 by 1080 so i'm going to do that Basically, what you're gonna want to do now is actually go through the photo and edit it. So I actually just put a preset on mine. Once you're happy with all the colors and everything, how it looks, then the last step is putting that plane in. All you wanna do is right click on the bottom of the photo, scroll up to edit in, or press Command E. Shortcuts. Okay, my Photoshop's just completely fucked itself. Give me a minute. Okay, so now your photo is in Photoshop. What do you do next? Go on Google, search up plane PNG, grab literally any plane off there that looks good and has a transparent background. Literally drag that image of the plane onto Photoshop where your photo is and just hit enter. So adjust that to whatever size you want to do it. I'll probably, you don't want to make it too big because it just looks, it doesn't look right. I don't know, keep it relatively small because when you look up in the sky, planes aren't going to be massive. Even though this place is an airport, 
just make the plane small, trust me. You can go ahead, click on it, and you'll see it in your layers. You have your background, which is your original image, and then the plane that you've put in. Now, what I do to make it look realistic, I go to the adjustments, and first I'll do the brightness and contrast. But before you start adjusting that, you want to click this little box with the arrow. That's going to apply it only to the plane. I'm going to have to make this plane a lot brighter because it's way too dark to be in a sky that bright. So I'm going to bring up the brightness and actually bring down the contrast because it's a little too harsh. That looks a bit more real. And then next we can go back into our adjustments and go straight to uh, hue saturation. And here, this is the part where it makes a big difference. So you want to click this colorize. Now, once it's colorized, you can obviously see it changes the whole color of the plane. So you're going to change the hue, just going to change the color of the plane now. So because of my photos, just off by eye, I'm going to go for the orangish tones that are in, already in my photo, especially in the highlights. So I'm going to adjust my hue to that orange color, and then I'm just going to bring the saturation down. That's pretty much it literally getting a picture of a plane off Google, putting in your photo, adjusting the color and the brightness of it to match your image, and that's it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the photos. Hopefully that was helpful, and hopefully that spices up some of your photos. I just think it's a really easy trick for anyone to do if they love taking photos of street or architecture, and they're just missing that little subject in their photos. If you did find that helpful, feel free to give me a like and subscribe or don't. And also check out my Instagram because it's probably going to be in a reel and a post. This is, it's probably going to be in a reel first, I'm, I'm guessing. Other than that, enjoy. Okay. Let's go! Oh,